And now out to Beverly Hills, where uh, the police department there is uh, giving an update on the murder of Jacqueline Avant. We are learning right now that an arrest has been made. Let's listen right here on Live Now from Fox. ...are the timeline of events as we know them. Multiple surveillance videos, including city cameras, showed the suspect's vehicle heading eastbound out of Beverly Hills shortly after Mrs. Avant was shot early Wednesday morning. At approximately 3.30 a.m., LAPD Hollywood Division responded to a reported shooting at a residence in the 6,000 block of Gracioso Drive. When they arrived, they found Maynard in the backyard suffering from a gunshot wound to his foot. Following a thorough investigation by LAPD, it was determined that a burglary had occurred at that residence and Maynard had accidentally shot himself in the foot. He was subsequently arrested by LAPD and transported to a local hospital and has been in law enforcement custody since. Beverly Hills detectives responded to Hollywood Division and collected evidence connecting Maynard to the crime in our city, including a suspected weapon. Beverly Hills detectives have assumed investigative responsibility for both cases. The investigation leads us to believe there are no further threats to public safety. The evidence thus far shows that only one suspect was involved in the crime and the motive remains under investigation. Maynard will be booked into jail when medically cleared by doctors. Our focus now has transitioned from finding a suspect to a continuing investigation that will lead to a successful prosecution. I would like to thank the personnel from LAPD Hollywood Division for their diligence and coordination that led to this arrest. And I'd like to thank my staff who has been working tirelessly to ensure the arrest of the suspect. Mrs. Avant's death is an incredible loss for our community. The department has been in contact with the Avant family and we continue to offer our support. To our Beverly Hills community, let me reassure you, this is one of the most protected and patrolled cities in the world. Crimes of any kind will not be tolerated here. Let this be a message to anyone thinking of committing a crime in Beverly Hills, you will be caught and brought to justice. I'll now take some questions. Was this a random attack? I think it's too early in the investigation to get to the motive. It may have been or may have been targeted, and for what purpose, we don't know. We're, we're still looking at that. Can you tell us anything about the suspect's movements before uh, Mr. Bajon's uh, home and any background on well, to answer the first question, of course, through the investigation, we'll be going back and trying to establish a timeline of him coming to the home. Any background, motives, anything about him? He has an extensive criminal record. He's on parole, and that's about all I'll say on that. Does the suspect have mental health issues? I don't know that, and I don't think we, we are aware of that at this time. Chief, do we believe this guy was a solo operator, or did he have other people who were working with him to take him out, transport him around, or anything else? At this time, we're looking at only him as a suspect, but again, there's a lot of evidence to still go through, so we're leaving open the possibility there could be other people involved. You still got a vehicle out there, I would take it? We have a vehicle, um, yes, and it's going to be processed for forensics. The weapon itself, again, have we got a ballistics match? What else do we have on this thing, if anything? We're working on forensics. There, there is a weapon, and there are um, the availability to get ballistics from the two scenes. Same caliber as uh, what happened in the Avant case? Yes. Can you give us a sense of how important surveillance video was and how the suspect was eventually caught? I, I think surveillance video is always good, and we have a community that has their own private surveillance equipment, which is also helpful, and they love to give it to us when we ask for it. They're very helpful and cooperative, which we, which we appreciate very much. And then the city has public cameras that are also very helpful in the conduct, conduct of any investigation. He was a private security guard. He was not contracted or hired by the city. Chief, can we talk about what happened at the point in Hollywood when he was arrested? What was he doing at that location? Can you describe that point where he was actually caught? Or was Deputy Chief Chow? I'll let Deputy Chief Chow address the question since it's in his command. All right. Blake, thanks. Thank you. I'll thank Pete. Um, as uh, Chief Stainbrook had mentioned on the first, uh, on December 1st at uh, 0330 hours, our Hollywood officers received a radio call at 6000 block of Graciosa Avenue um, where they uh, encountered a, the, the subject had been shot, apparently shot on the foot. They interviewed um, the people that were living in that residence. They collected 
uh, evidence of a burglary and also um, evidence of a shooting, including the, the rifle in the backyard. Um, he was subsequently taken into custody by Hollywood and booked for the uh, hot pot burglary. And w somewhere in the night, we had an astute watch commander at Hollywood that starting to put two and two together and reached out to Beverly Hills. And we, uh, we have a very good relationship with Beverly Hills anyway, but we started communicating and there were some similarities and stuff that led Beverly Hills to come and, and conduct more of an investigation. Going back for a second, you said collected a rifle out of the safe. Chief, Beverly Hills, is this indeed the weapon involved, a rifle, not a handgun? You're nodding. Blake, what do we, what did this guy get well, picked up with? I can't speak for Beverly Hills um, a case, but we ended up uh, getting a rifle in custody at this at this burglary. What type? An AR-15. Sir, AR type series rifle. Yes. What about the home uh, the, the Hollywood itself? Is that a high-end residence? What? How would you describe it? Yes, yeah, sir. Do you know? Do you want to answer that about the residence? The Hollywood Hills. Yeah. Hollywood Hills. So actually, the timeline it was seven minutes after. Um, the shooting here that you that uh, Hollywood Division got the call in Hollywood. No, it was about an hour. An hour. Cause, okay. Can you describe the sequence of events in that restaurant? Did he rob the family and then shoot himself in the foot? What did the transpire? Well, it's preliminary right now, but it, it appears as though yes, he was in the house and collecting property, and then after that, somehow discharged a weapon and apparently shot himself in the foot. So we we are uh, the Hollywood detectives and officers collected. Many things of evidence, including some forensics, um, in the in and around the house, it would lead us to believe that he was outside when that happened. So that's how we ended up uh, taking him into custody. Do you know whether it was he was firing at someone or just accidentally shot himself while he was handling the gun? No, we don't know that. Does the suspect have any kind of criminal history? Right. As I have stated, he has an extensive criminal history, but I won't go any further into the details. And he is on and he is on parole as well. Did the suspect know the family? Excuse me? Did the suspect know the family? In which case? In, in any way in, uh, 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 in the Avant. Not to my knowledge at this time, but we're still investigating um, that possibility. Chief, can you provide more details about how Mrs. Avant came into contact with the suspect? No, I'm not going to talk about that at this time. Do you believe the suspect be, could be connected to other burglaries or break-ins in the area? We don't know that at this time, but we'll, we will keep that open as a possibility as we keep investigating. There's still a lot of evidence to go through, um, and so we'll, we'll, we'll continue to look at that. Oh, I, I'm not going to talk about the details of that. I don't know at this time. We'll we'll obviously look at that. Yes. Are you asking if there's a link between the two? We don't know that at this time, but we'll, we will look at that throughout the investigation. I don't, it's, it's too early to say. I know there's a lot of questions whether this is just random or very targeted, and I think there's still a lot of interviews to do. We have not been able to interview the suspect due to his medical condition. So um, until we can do that and interview some other people and do a lot of follow-up on the forensic evidence we have, I think it, it's too early to say. Do you have an idea of how long that will be before you clear medically? I don't. I'm not a doctor. I'm a doctor. Thank you all for coming out. I, I really appreciate it. If there are... Uh, uh, Gio will have some information to pass out and uh, he'll also give you the number to our hotline. Again, we always ask for the public's help. If you have any information in regards to this crime or any other crime, he will give you a, a tip line to contact for the public or, or members of the press. Thank you very much. Thank you, Chief. Okay, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. You guys have my name, number.